Maybe stop eating your mom's spaghetti, dude. If it's making you sick every time you eat it, maybe you need to stop eating your spaghetti. Yeah. Did you know um, he's opening a restaurant called Mom's Spaghetti? It's already open. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. It's like a fast food place, I think. Is it? It looked like I it. It, it was, was like, like Olive a, Garden. It looked like a takeout. Like you went up to a window and they gave you like a Chinese food thing of spaghetti, you know? <laughs> like in a Chinese box? Yeah, that's kind of what it looked like. Sounds awesome. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad. Dude, spaghetti's kind of tough to fuck up. Like you can make yeah. like... That's what's great about spaghetti. You really can't make bad spaghetti, but you can make like incredible spaghetti. You that's know, like true. if you know what you're doing, mm-hmm. you can you could like raise the bar. But really, yeah. even if you're not a good cook, like spaghetti's spaghetti, bro. Yeah, you can mm-hmm. make. You know, it, it's still edible at least. You know, it's not like that. Is pizza? Y'all ever tried to just make a pizza from scratch? I have. I've really knocked it out of the park. Really, too. my mom yeah. used to do pizza and. She's they're a good tough, cook. They're tough with conventional ovens, though, to get that dough right. It is. That's. I think that's you gotta what... Get, you got to go super, super thin crust if you're going in yeah. a conventional oven. Otherwise, it's just not going to turn out the way I, you want it. I think that might have been the problem. Because, like, she's a good cook, but I remember she would make pizza, like, once a month or something like that. And every time she made pizza, I was just like, it's just, it's it not for it. me, you know? What this ain't it, mom? What were the meals as a kid where, like, now you like them, but you used to not like them? Oh, that's a good I didn't, question. I didn't like burgers or steak. I didn't like steak for up. a long time. I always liked burgers. Yeah. I don't know. I've always, I've never really been picky, but me and my girlfriend, we were talking about last night, just like the fucked up shit my dad would like make us. Yeah. You know? Because he would be like, all right, we're doing mac and cheese, but I'm throwing ramen noodles in there mm. and like like uh uh chili beans we're putting broccoli we're putting onion i mean it was like that's too just, much going on yeah i, I like, mean just i was like on a, board a, me- a mess of things you yeah. could just have those all separately yeah you know? <laughs> i was on board with the ramen and that was, the that's my macaroni. dad's like that cooking good. yeah it's like yeah but that's exactly my dad's like cooking style it's like what you could have separately it's like let's combine this crazy into one thing yeah, I mean it's it's efficient, I guess, or is it? I don't even know. You Am ever, di- what? You guys meet like uh, so like I I can cook shit, you know, and I'm like I'll take pride in like some of the things. I, I went through a phase where I just send you guys, pick when I first started cooking, where I'd be like, look at what I made tonight. Yeah, dude, you would literally just <laughs> yeah. make pesto pasta. It was the same thing be, every time, yeah. And you would be so proud of yourself, and it's just because well, like, it yeah, tasted man, good. Been, but I've been cooking for years. I so think like this I, is a journey that we actually went on d- within this podcast. Did we? In fact, yeah. Fuck. I think yeah. it's been it's, so long. But <laughs> y'all ever meet like someone? Happy New Year, by the way, guys. Yes, yes. Shut up. Are we starting? Shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's start. Uh, welcome to the Cool Podcast. Grant here, Ryan and Tommy on the call. Yeah. Happy New Year, guys. Still with us. Shut yes. The hell up. But you guys meet, y'all ever meet someone who, like, te- like is technically a sound cook and knows how to, like, actually, like, when I was yeah, at you Grant's... you a podcast with two of them. Shut the fuck up. When yeah, I was at Grant's... Really good cooks. Cooks. <laughs> Man, I'm not even going to say it, then. I'm not say even going to finish my thought. <laughs> say if it, I'm going to... Nope. Let's just start the podcast. Are you are you going to be coy with the podcast this year? What's, what's, yeah. what's the problem, Yeah, dude? I want good feedback or i'm not doing my stories <laughs> if i don't get good feedback right away sorry i guess our listeners are just gonna miss out on account um, of your guys's attitudes I, well uh thanks for thanks for listening to us in the new year mm-hmm. everybody um ryan just, I, I hope everyone's new year was great yes yes me too and, grant uh, happy birthday it was your birthday Thanks. On New Year's Eve, it was Dana's birthday as well. We were celebrating. Thank you, thank you. Thirty years old. Damn, so, dude. What'd you What'd you get up to? Not really much of anything, honestly. Just kind of hung out uh, here with. Um, we were gonna see my brother and sister in law and niece and nephew, but um, just another like COVID exposure. So it's like uh, my my nephew got exposed at his daycare. So. Uh, don't have How kids, old? folks. He's, it's a very, he's two and a half. That's a very different sentence in a like COVID times. You know, <laughs> my nephew got exposed at the daycare. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there yeah, we go. It's, it's it's good that it. Well, you know, it's good that it's COVID in that case. Do they but, tell the? Do they tell your nephew like what 
is going on. No, he doesn't. He's not. Uh, he's two and a half. So yeah. he really, he's not. So he's just like sometimes in daycare, then other times he's not. Yeah. Yeah. And um, how does he feel about the mask? He doesn't have to wear one. Um, That's I, good. I, I don't think I've ever seen him wear one. He's pretty. I think I, he's, I guess anti-mask. he's pretty anti-mask. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he was at cance- the, he was at the cancel my two year old nephew. <laughs> he was at the cab. He's anti-max and anti-vax. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, basically, just hung out with uh, with uh, two of yeah. our friends and uh, just just kind of drank. We um, we just like made made charcuterie. Dana's board literally stuff. looking at me podcast. Yeah, directly across from me, and there's nothing more embarrassing. Yeah, I just want to. Uh, I I I'm so embarrassed right now. Yeah. To, yeah. She's, to be, she's going to break up with you after this podcast. Yeah, you're. I'm. Yes, I'm getting broken up with after this episode. The, there's a reason that Ryan and I, when we record here, we just record in like the cat litter room because mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, you know, that's and that's you the vibe. and you you make Kelly go outside too. You yeah, go, go out, outside. It's negative you know, twenty two out right now, and that's still more pleasant than what it would be just to be adjacent well, to us it's, recording <laughs> the podcast because it's so hot in here. Cause, cause we're burning the, we're the steaming candle. up, we're steaming up the windows. We're um, burning the asshole at both ends. <laughs> you ever do that? Say. You ever put a burn a candle at both ends and then stick it up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> it fucking hurts. Right. Yeah, it's like a um, lady in the tramp style yeah. with your boy, <laughs> with but, with, but, with, yeah, the, but with the candle. candle. Yeah, but my ass is eating it <laughs> up. Just, wait, yeah, doesn't that our happen? Asses are eating it up. Doesn't that happen in Requiem for a Dream? Don't, doesn't something like that happen with a double-ended dildo? Two people go on it at the same time. Maybe I've never seen Requiem for. It's a, a good movie. It's fucked up. The diet would you, pills. Would you wreck? Would you give? Would you wreck Requiem yeah, for never a seen dream? It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would. I don't think there's a double-ended dildo scene. Dana like that one. Has Dana seen it? Ask her if there's a double-ended have seen, dildo. Have you seen Requiem for a Dream? Requiem, another one of those words Tommy can't say. Rec- requiem. Recre- <laughs> Have you seen Rec- Recreation Rec- for a Dream? Re- Parks and Recreation. Parks and for Recreational a for a Dream. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. We're good at this. Oh, <laughs> the podcast man. is good. Yeah, this is easy. Let's um, go, dude. But yeah, for, for New Year's, we just uh, made the mistake. I guess not really a mistake, but we didn't like get any beer or anything. So I was just drinking like straight gin drinks the oh, whole no. night. So that was. I don't know. Gin, gin's not my. It's probably my least fave. Well, gin is interesting because it's got such a strong flavor on its own. You would never really drink it on its own, but then it no. just becomes invisible when you mix it. Wh- exactly. Into a drink, you, it which, can be disguised so yeah. well. I, I A gin cocktail, I will. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really enjoy yeah, it. It's we very were, true. We were doing like French 75s and shit like that. Mm. So. See, man, people mm-hmm. need to, people shit on light beers, but you could have, I don't know, a hundred light beers in a night and yeah. you'll wake up, you're hydrated because it's mostly water. You, you'll you still get drunk. You can drive. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Get on the light beer train. Sometimes I just, sometimes I just like getting home. Having a few light beers and just hitting the road. Yeah, you know man. I mean? Going for a little drive. I drink light beers while I do push-ups. <laughs> 14 or 15 beers. Who do you think could drink the most out of us, you guys? Probably Grant. I think I can, yeah. Me, you think so? I think like, me, well, I think Before, we, like, puking or what's the... Uh, well, you're, you're just until down the you're gauntlet. done. Yeah. Maybe we should just do this sometime. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, like, who, like, how... like. Like before someone gets the most visibly drunk or the first to pass out or what? Yeah. Well, what are the rules here? So we know Ryan would be the first to tap out. I think. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it would, because me and you, Tommy are just more seasoned right now. I'm seasoned, but Ryan also with competition and willpower. Could, that is true. I could, no. I, I could physically stop myself from being drunk just because yeah. I, I've reconfigured it in my brain that on, this is on a competition. Any given night, I, on any given night, I think I can handle my liquor better than Ryan. Just yeah. like on a regular, if we're just drinking, having a good time. That's true. I, I think Ryan's yeah. getting a little more drunk faster than I am. But if, if there's a competition at yeah. play, then Ryan will, he I, will overpower I'm like me, if, maybe. I'm like if Michael Jordan was autistic. <laughs> Dude, you're the Michael Jordan of autism. Yeah. It kind of seems like he might be autistic, you know, just the way he I, th- I think I'm the Michael Jordan of basketball. Yeah. yeah, dude. I'm the Michael Jordan of drinking, so we're I'm all, that good at basketball yeah. that I'm like Michael I'm the, Jordan. I'm the Michael Jordan of being black. <laughs> you are the Michael Jordan of being black. Uh, <laughs> Dana liked it. Nice. I, that's why I repeated it. Yeah, I she's back to, on board. Yeah, she's dude. back on board. We got an audience. 
Uh, that did feel good <laughs> <laughs> to hear that. Then that was Ryan's line that you repeated, and it felt well, good. Well, yeah, me. that's what that's why I, I wanted. I wanted it to be aired in the apartment. I did yeah. that very intentionally. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's yeah. why I hear the Michael Jordan of basketball. That's why I'm the Michael Jordan of repeating my friend's jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know. I think I think it would come down to me and you, honestly, Tommy, because Ryan is kind of a lush. Like he gets really drunk when he's drunk. Yeah, he gets out of pocket too. Yeah, and I'm saying stuff, man. I'm saying stuff that I wouldn't normally say. You you get to the point where you like need to be removed. <laughs> yeah, it's dude, like he's he's gonna like make it so that the, where whatever gathering you're at can't go on like normally <laughs> until Ryan's gone, and then it's like everybody's like, "Whoa, all right, okay, now we can like get back to just kind of yeah. talking." And, I become uh, a I become I think you should and I think you should leave sketch. Like, yeah, if I have like f- fourteen beers, that's probably around there. It's yeah. like. Well, I, I yeah, there was that one night here that you were, um, remember when Caroline, you were like basically threatening to fight Caroline or something, or you were threatening well, to like fight a, like no, everybody. You were threatening to bit. fight me. No, Ryan was trying That's to fight me and Caroline was getting really embarrassed because yeah. I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Like well, I also, can't stress this enough. I, I, I think I was just being like normal as hell. Yeah. But I do want like, to clarify too. I wasn't like legit. It was like a bit. You know, like no, it was a bit, but it was real punches. No, it didn't. No, I don't throw real punches. Okay, not like real punches, yeah. but like like joke punches that like still it was like, hurt. Okay, that kind of <laughs> yeah, it's like, like okay, hurts a little. This bit. hurts, dude. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, it was like it was like I was in the kitchen and you were pretending to be drunk. And you were like, yeah, I wasn't even. I don't even think I was drunk because I think no, I had. You like, were drunk. No, yeah. You were drunk and pretending <laughs> to be more drunk. So so it just like equated to being really drunk. <laughs> it is crazy how sometimes just through uh, imagination you can mm-hmm. become much drunker than you normally would mm-hmm. be just by pretending to be drunk. All of a sudden, you really are drunk. Yeah, and you were like, "Come here," and you were like <laughs> punching me, and I was like, yeah. "I was like trying to get a glass of water." And I remember, I remember yeah. this. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Ryan, why are you doing this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, dude, I don't." <laughs> we were we were saying like this isn't funny and it's not a good bit yeah. stuff like that, you know. But I think me and Tommy were laughing. Will you apologize for that? Um, sure. All right. Well, let's hear it. Well, I thought that would just me saying sure would be. No, you have to do the apology. Okay, dude. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, good. <laughs> pretty good. Which is this is the podcast where we apologize and demand apologies. Mm-hmm. I, unless Grant, you have had anything that I do have an apology to demand. Uh, no, I just I'll just say that I've never done anything when I've been drinking that I needed to apologize for. So that's not that's, true. Makes me better. Yeah. It's the only true. thing I the only thing I need to apologize. She was myself for giving myself a concussion. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and, and and bleeding all over the bed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but, a classic you know, self You know what they say, no harm, no foul. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if I love applies. saying no harm, no foul when there was both <laughs> harm and foul. Yeah. After you fucked up. Yeah. There's just clear harm and foul. I'm like, yeah, no harm. Your Honor, no harm, no foul. It's like, you <laughs> murdered a child. Like, I don't think that's true. Mm, did I, though? Debatable. Uh, was it funny, though? Come yeah. on. I was As doing a bit. bit. <laughs> I was doing a funny bit. <laughs> Your Honor, I was trying, in my defense, I was trying to be very funny. <laughs> I was being yeah. very funny. I was being very funny. <laughs> I was being very funny when I was murdering the child. Yeah. All right, Tommy, uh, what do you got? Um. Yeah, so I'd like to demand an apology uh, to the teenager that tried to rob me a couple of days ago. What happened? Okay. I'm um. So yeah, so I'm getting tacos for me and for me and Dana, and I'm just like walking back to the apartment, and I'm on my phone, just like staring at my phone. I think I'm like texting Clay, and I'm like, I'm like having a good night, you know. I'm like smiling, walking down the street, and then this kid just steps in front of me, and he's like. He's like, give me, he's like, give me your wallet. And then like takes out like a little Swiss army knife. (laughs) And then I, and he's like 14. Yeah. And I was just like, I looked at him and I was like, I was like very startled and scared at first. And then I just go like, I'm just like, not a chance. And then I just like walk across (laughs) the street. And then I was like looking behind me with the tacos and I'm like, is this, is he going to run up on me? But then he just like walked away and I, and I'm like, I think this is like this kid's like first rob, like mugging or something yeah. like that. He did his voice squeak when he said it. 
I mean, almost. He seemed very. I felt kind of bad. You guys, excuse honestly. me, Mister. Yeah, he you... should have just. He should have just punched me in the face. I wasn't like yeah, looking yeah. or anything. Mm-hmm. If he really, he should have just punched me in the face and then robbed me. But he like steps in front of me. It was very like theatrical. You yeah. Know? He put. He had his arms out. Yeah, he's like, give me, he's like, he was me doing jazz hands. <laughs> yeah, he's doing, I'm like, you gotta stop doing jazz hands, man. Yeah. First of all, I mean, come on, and and get a real knife. Yeah, get a real yeah, knife. Yeah, Go to the kitchen. Like, Go to the kitchen and get an actual knife. That would have been much scarier. I mean, very like a like one of those little uh, Swiss Army knives that you get at like a you know any convenience store. That's yeah. like a, like a keychain Swiss yeah. Army knife. That would take a lot of stabs from one of those. And to, you're gonna to cut your hand up. You. I feel like too. Yeah. Also, what does that say about me, though, at the same time where he's like, I think I can get him. With- yeah, well, that was that was like the one thing well, that the, he got right was the, the, the target. The like, problem he did is, that correctly. The problem like, is. I think I can get him with this. Just- <laughs> with the Swiss Army knife, he also had the spoon attachment out, which is not intended. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have No, yeah. he had the can opener part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so that was really like yeah. first time. First time I. Uh, uh, Got uh, an attempting uh, mugging in New York. Yeah, so. and you, you know what you did? You took him out vigilante style. You pulled out your pistol and you blew him. You blew him <laughs> you away. Blew his fucking head <laughs> yeah. off. Right? Stand yeah. your ground laws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did stand your ground laws this yeah. weekend <laughs> to this fourteen-year-old with a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Dude, I love. I love standing my ground. <laughs> I am just imagining you pulling out like a huge fucking pistol, just a just, hand cannon. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, dude. dude! Yeah, I got a, I got guns for Christmas. Yeah. I didn't tell you. Yeah. I've been using the guns I got. Yeah, you bought yourself a gun for Christmas. I forgot about that. You do like Clint Eastwood <laughs> in fucking yeah. Dirty Harry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is crazy that. Um, I mean, it, it, sorry, sorry that happened. We're to very you. excited to uh, <clears throat> welcome the the newest police officer to the force. Uh, Tommy Bear, he just blew away a 14-year-old child without provocation. We yeah. think he's going to be a great officer. <laughs> and and if he's lucky, one day he'll die in another 9-11-like event. <laughs> yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse is the chief of police at this point. Yeah. He's bringing me on. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, it was like one of those things where it's like, I'm like, I, you're a little shaken up, but then you're like, oh, that's, this kid's... I mean, I, essentially, this kid was like open micing, yeah. robbing people with me. It you sounds kind of I mean? cute, like he was cute. Yeah. You know? yeah. How did you feel after that? Like, did I mean, were were you shaken up, or were you just kind of like, like, how far away from from your home were you? <laughs> what? Like, like four or five blocks. Did you go home and uh, give Dana the the worst sex she's ever had? Yeah. After that, I, that's what I did. <clears throat> The most traumatized sex. Yeah, yeah, you were shaking the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and then you cried before yeah, and dude. during. I fucked, I, dude, I fucked like a little baby that night. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like a little trembling baby. Yeah, I begged her to hold me. Yeah. Um, Y'all ever do that? No, it, it was fine. Uh, um, you know, um, like initially you're just like, oh, shit. And then you're like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. well, I'm a god, so. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have that thought? Did you have that thought for a minute where you were like, well, I guess I'm not, I'm just kind of invincible. It made, I was just like, it made me feel good because I'm like, I think I could outrun most guys. Yeah. So I was like, I I think I'm, it's fine. Well, that's like, especially if you're running with a knife, you know, you got to slow down. (laughs) Also like. Maybe that's why the knife was so small in case he had to run with it. It was a runner's knife. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Also, it's just like, is it, it. I don't know. Am I am I gonna get? St- I mean, I might get stabbed. I don't know. Yeah. That would kind of suck. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe. <laughs> that, yeah. Well, also, you know, maybe if there's anything to learn from this, you know, like just don't be staring at your phone. I guess when you're walking home. That's a good. That that is a good point. That's probably the one takeaway. And also, uh, get a gun. You know. Yeah. yeah. Blow them away. If you're, if you're listening, <laughs> get a gun. Kill a guy. Yeah. That, um. I think so, it's yeah. it's probably like most states. Uh, you would be well within your rights to uh, to murder that that boy on the street, that child. Um, yeah, which is insane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. It, well, okay, it is insane, but it's also like you gotta you gotta realize what you're working with here. Like we are in America, so if you're gonna go out and like rob people on the street, you have to be like, okay, you know, this is the game that I'm not. I'm not saying that it's right, but it's like. At a certain point, don't you have to uh, realize where you are? Grant's slowly becoming a Republican <laughs> on the podcast. 
I mean, um, I mean, that's part of the game, you know, listen, man, you it's play- just insane to me that like a law that seems like something that would own like a law that would only be appropriate in like 1880s. Yeah. Cowboy Wild West country. Yeah. Which is a myth, is, by the way. That wasn't even like how it was. Back it's like then. dueling laws. Yeah. It's like, it, it, like we're just accepting that you can just like duel someone and then like still go to like your job. I think you, you should know? be able to. <laughs> like the next day or whatever. Legally, like you should be able to kill someone in a duel, but you both have to use old swords. Everybody should have to have a gun. And then that's just how we settle all our disputes. I'm saying we go. I don't we know. Go, if that's we the lean idea. all the way into it, yeah. and we're like, we're, "Wait, we're, Ryan, I'm sorry. Are you disagreeing with with Grant's? <laughs> yeah, yeah with you don't think that's how we should that, go that, about it. We should settle all disputes no. with guns. I don't He's think saying swords. Ryan, I think, think swords is the idea. Ryan, think on this. <clears throat> yeah. Use use your head. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take a shit in like 12 minutes. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell it's locked. It's loaded. It's like Speaking a, it's of like guns, a loading bar. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of blowing something away, <laughs> Grant's toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and tell him Ryan sent you. <laughs> oh, no. no, Grant's gonna go make me go shit outside shit. in the cold. Go take a shit at, in Grant's apartment. And when you it's, do, tell him Ryan. Tell sent him Ryan you. told you you could do that. I'm gonna make you shit outside in the cold, and it's gonna be like uh, my wallet when, when Sub Zero is uh, shooting icicles out of his hands. But yeah, it's just gonna be a shit my ass. icicle out of your ass. Um, that's how, good. The, that's good stuff. How yeah. how are the New Year's? All right. Well, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I almost got robbed, and it was really cute. <laughs> I almost got robbed, cute style. Yeah, you almost got robbed by Fifle Goes West. Um. <laughs> Uh, what, um, was that on New Year's Eve? No, that was, uh, day, night before New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, we just played pool at a bar. It was really wholesome. More more like New Year's, New Year's Grieve. Did you guys see Betty White died? Yeah, (laughs) R.I.P. New Year's Grieve. Yeah. Did you guys see how they had the Netflix documentary, like, ready to go? Yeah. No. Like, they, like, literally, like, an hour after, like, Betty White died, like, Netflix, like, tweets out, like, a trailer to a Betty White documentary, and it's like, yeah. oh, it's so funny how they were holding on yeah. I saw somebody Betty tweeted, fight. like, they had this in the drafts. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> that's, um, what you, like, that's the, epic posting right there. Did you guys have know, shows I mean, on New Year's Eve? Mm-mm. No, no, no. Damn, you guys are losers. Absolutely not. You had a <laughs> um, show, right? You got too drunk. Yeah, I was in Alexandria. Yeah, what's uh, tell, take us through your, your New Year's Eve, Ryan. Well, first of all, I didn't know this, but I was there for New Year's Eve like two years ago. So the last New Year's Eve show I did was the same venue. Oh. Um, so I get there. There's five comics on the lineup. So I'm looking at the lineup. I'm like, oh, we're all just going to do 20s. It'll be like a tight show. It's great. Get there. I'm like talking to the guy who runs the show, and he's like, "I'm like we're all doing 20s," and he's like, "Well, I'd, I was hoping you'd do at least 25." And I'm like, "What's well, okay? That's fine. I mean, that's not yeah, I'm like, too okay. big of a stretch." And then he's like, "And then she's gonna do 25, and then these two guys are gonna do 45 to an hour apiece." What? Oh, so it's like, a four hour comedy show? Yeah, it's literally like a three hour, and then he is doing time in between everybody. And so I'm awesome. like, "Awesome!" So it's <laughs> ten hours long. Yeah. So like, I go up. <clears throat> And I, dude, they were a weird crowd. Um, what What's the venue like? Is it like a, it's a ballroom? A giant place? ballroom. There's probably bad, like 300 bad people place there. to do comedy. Which, first of all, okay, so like I walk in, <clears throat> walk in, and I'm like wearing my mask. No one else is wearing their fucking masks. I know, which makes so, you feel like a pussy. I took mine off because I was like, I don't want them to fucking hate me before. And <laughs> yeah. I just immediately went to like the green room away from everybody. No, I, I'm, quickly, I'm quickly realizing like my COVID, my opinion on COVID is just... Whoever I'm with, if they have a stronger opinion, that's kind of like becomes my opinion. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> conflict. So, like, exactly. If someone's just like really on their shit, and I'm like, yeah, man, we just gotta really be like take care of ourselves and yeah. you know be conscious and stuff like that. But then I was like talking to one of my coworkers, and he's like, man, I don't give a shit. And I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm just yeah. like, so, I, I don't care. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, so I'm no, just, it sucks. It's, yeah. So take it off. I go into the green room. Um, or like, you know, figure out what we're doing. I go, like, first after the guy opens. And they were a weird crowd, man. Like, normally, conservative, small crowds, like, they like it if you fuck with the town or fuck with them a little bit. And I got to a little I, bit, but it was just... 
I think there's a there's like a cop college in Alexandria. That That's where sense. like a lot of Minnesota police officers get yeah. trained. That's that where sense. the yeah. So it's where like I, the the smarter cops go. Yeah, yeah I think okay. they have a statue to Derek Chauvin there okay. in the in the town square there. So can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> do you wash your hands every time you pee? Yeah. No. What? I don't. I do it half the time. Really? In the pandemic, even. I do it every time at work. I used to do it half the time. I do it every time at work, and then I think I do it half the time um, at home. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like, like, you know, like, I'm just, I'm barely touching my dick. It's just, it's just quick. It's in and out. And, Mm -hmm. like, I don't want to get my hands wet and dry. Yeah. Especially in the winter. Well, I think. I I know my gross, I know my gross listeners out there feel me on this. Yeah. Definitely. I this, mean, I feel I know you. My, I know my icky boys out there understand. <laughs> the CDC re- my, recently said that uh, the human penis is the cleanest part. You like how a dog's mouth is the cleanest. Yeah. No, the human penis seems very, I mean, it barely touches anything. Yeah. Well. You know. It's your, not touching. Your, your human penis barely touches anything. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. Speak for yourself, buddy. Mine's touching floors. It's, it's a guy who's like, you know, the dog's mouth is the cleanest thing on the face of the earth. And my penis, by, is, by yeah. de facto, you know that means my a, penis a do- is also <laughs> as clean as the cleanest thing You know thing what they the say? World. A dog's penis is the cleanest part of the dog to, to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> to suck, uh, you know, right? they say they say a dog's penis is the cleanest part of the dog to put your mouth on. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I do Just it the all cleanest. the time. Because it's the cleanest. It's the most healthy. I don't no, even, this is, no, I don't this e- is how I clean my penis. <laughs> I don't even brush my teeth anymore. I just suck my dog's dick. <laughs> if you nice. 69 with your dog, can your we get penis a- <laughs> and your mouth will be the cleanest they have ever been. Can we make t-shirts that say, I don't even brush my teeth anymore. I just suck my dog's dick. <laughs> yeah. So, Grant, how many times, so what, like, percentage-wise, uh, when are you not washing your hands and when are you washing your hands? If I'm uh, like, if I'm just peen, peen, poop. Oh, every time. Taking shit every time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. That's just you're getting up in there. Uh, you're getting up in there. You gotta, you gotta give it a good clean. You're getting would, in there. You're getting it out of there. Yeah, in and out. Um, I that's would, why they call the place in and out. Yeah, that's also <laughs> you're gonna have to take a shit because uh, you can you're take gonna, a, you're gonna like the way you take a shit I in and out. It. Yeah, tell them Ryan yeah. sent you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I uh. I would say if I'm, it, it's kind of dependent on how uh, how quickly I'll be handling food. That's the main thing. Like if I'm if I'm just chopping it up at the apartment, you know, just yeah. hanging out, probably not, probably not really washing the hands after a pee because lots of times I, I like, especially if I don't yeah. touch my dick, I won't. Also, wash pee my is hands. the cleanest part of the of the body. <laughs> Much like a dog's penis. Did you guys <laughs> you guys sit down or you stand at home? Stand. Really? Stand, yeah. Wait, oh. you're sitting down when you pee? I've started doing it in the past year, and it's changed my life. Really? For the better, yeah. In what way? Here's the thing, man. If I'm sitting down, though, then I'm getting caught on the toilet. Yeah. No, you sit down. You're looking at your phone. You're getting stuck on the toilet. You know what's nice? Yeah. You might have to shit. You don't even know it until you sit down, and you're like, whoa, hey. Yeah, but I don't like that. Gonna get, you're going to get hemorrhoids. No. Yeah. If you're, if you're pushing, if you're pushing, or you're sitting there too long, but... Also, it's just cleaner, you know. You're never gonna have to worry about splashing on the on the uh, ring or whatever the fuck it is. The ring, the toilet seat, yeah, the toilet seat. <laughs> Not a yeah. ring. I would, I would say. Now, what about at, what about at urinal? Are you guys going pants down to the ankles, or yeah. what are we doing? Yeah, I take time. mine off. I take mine off and I hang them on the door, <laughs> <laughs> and I go, "Time to clock yeah. in." You, yeah, you have like a, a pants hanger that you take yeah. everywhere with you. Yeah, I set it up. I build it. Uh huh. I bring it yeah. in a box, and I yeah. shirt shirt off too, man. You're just <laughs> you're fully disrobing, I'm fully or... naked mm-hmm. at a public urinal. Wait, doesn't doesn't George do that? George Costanza does that in in one episode, right? He That's comes out of the right. bathroom with his shirt off <laughs> because he takes his shirt off when he shits, but he doesn't realize it. Have you guys? We've all been there though, where. You're taking a shit and you're sweating, you know? Dude, I ate, so yesterday was New Year's Day, and I ate, like, I had I had the Thai restaurant give me level five pad Thai, the, the hottest you can so get you it. you could and handle it. I, mm-hmm. I did handle it, but it's it's definitely, it's uh, it's hurting me it's now. It's a spicy, 
It's Asian a spicy mink, meatball. Meatball. <laughs> mink ball. <laughs> mink ball. It's a spicy mink ball. And it was, yeah, it was tofu as well. Can you so. say that? <laughs> yeah, I did. yeah. Yeah, don't say that. Yo, yes. me and the boys after work, we're going to go play meatball. You want to play? Don't you think? Um, it's football, but we play it with one meatball. <laughs> or just like a balled up mink, like a ferret. Uh, yeah. Don't you think that if you were sitting to pee, that's even more reason to not wash your hands afterwards because you're just letting it dangle, right? I mean... In theory, sure, but why not, you know, why not just be cleanly? Yeah. Because well, what if you touch your face, you know, now you're getting pimples and shit, or who knows? Pimples? Yeah. Pimples. Because yeah. you're introducing, like, dirty you didn't bacteria. Hear me. Pee is the cleanest part. Pee will cure your pimples. I think yeah. there there are some people who do that. They, like, use their piss on their skin to clear their skin and stuff. Those people are the We Cool Podcast. This is us. Two parts of the We Cool Podcast. Yep. Um... No, I'm yeah. clean, and I want all the women to know out there to know I haven't ever been tested for an STD because I I don't believe in it. But mm-hmm. I do wash my hands every time. <laughs> I I'm I'm mostly not washing at the crib. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. You guys wash your hands after sex, and I, and I think I think there's more icky boys out there. Oh, there's got to be, man, for yeah, sure. I think for yeah. sure. Do you guys wash your hands after sex? Uh, no. What about a jo? Yes. We're getting some uh, crack going, Tommy. I don't know if you do. I'm going to kill myself. You guys watch the new Matrix? Yeah. I heard it's bad. <clears throat> it's, um... Why'd they replace Morpheus with somebody else? I think he, he like, couldn't film the movie. Why? Um, then don't do the fucking movie. If you can't have one of the, like, iconic characters. Yeah. You know, actors. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. The fishy fish. Don't, um, don't fucking do the movie. Fishburn, I thought those guys were in water. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm done. I thought about it and I didn't say it. Well, what does that say about it's, it? Uh, maybe me and you are switching switching roles on the pod this year. You be me now. <laughs> you see how difficult <laughs> it is see. to be me. <laughs> How do I uh, come down to Sisyphus Brewing? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh, are they paying you to say that? <laughs> I'll never tell. I'm gonna be <laughs> cryptic about it. Um, we were talking about Morpheus. Like if he if he uh, forgets we had, we had which some pill good is which. Morpheus pill riffs. Yeah. Okay. If he, if he forgot which yeah, one was he's which. Like, so he's like to Neo. He's like, all right. If you take the blue pill, you stay in the matrix. If you take the red pill, you. Or is it the blue pill that you, <laughs> yeah. you don't stay in the? And he Hold like, on, let me make a phone call. Yeah, or he, or he's like, uh, <coughs> but make sure you only eat half of the blue pill. <laughs> and then maybe the other yeah, half. He's like, <laughs> see, like, see how you feel yeah, in 35 yeah, yeah, minutes. He's like, <laughs> yeah. he's yeah. like and he was like, like, do you have any water? I, <laughs> he's like, uh, Neo's like, I just took three of the blue pills because I, I couldn't feel it. I have the hardest erection I've ever had. <laughs> and uh, he's like, uh, he's like, he has mnemonic devices, you know, he's like, if you take the red pill, t- don't. Get ready to stay in bed. No, that's not Something right. Something about chill. If you take the blue, uh, make sure you don't forget your shoes. No, damn it. I, sorry, this is my first day, and they kind of breezed over this part. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, do you have uh, do you have like the pill bottles that they came in? He's like, no, they just give me the pills. <laughs> they come in this cool <laughs> yeah. metal case. Yeah. Um. They have a plus and a minus on them. I don't know what that means. There's there's a lot of things about the Matrix, kind of in hindsight, that it's like uh, I call it the Gatrix, dude. <laughs> I fucking hate them. <laughs> Damn, dude. What? Maybe cut that. The first one. <laughs> the first I don't one know is what that so implies. Good. The dude, first. I don't even. This episode's the first one's fine. Mess. Um. The, no, the first one is good, right? It's not. First like, one's incredible. It's, it's What's incredible. the one where they're all raving in a fucking cave for no reason? Yeah, that's the second and third one. Stupid. Um, yeah, the, stupid. the second and third one are stupid because they didn't know. Like when they made the first one, they didn't know what it was gonna be. They didn't know it was gonna be this amazing, yeah. huge, hugely. Po- so they didn't have. They sequels, didn't know it would inspire school shootings, which it did. Apparently, yeah. The the Columbine shooters said they wanted to be like Neo. I thought. Columbine was before that, I thought. I think... Because uh, it wasn't Matrix no, 99? I think they were both 99. Uh, uh, maybe. That makes Columbine sense. and the Matrix both. God, you know, dude. Big year. Big year for trench coats. Shout out to the Columbine shooters. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, R.I.P. We'll leave that one in. <laughs> R.I.P. brothers. Yeah. And if you go shoot up a school, tell them Ryan <laughs> no, no, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, tell them Ryan I'm taking you. my shout out to the Columbine shooters back. <laughs> I'm taking it back, folks. Jerry. 
Um, the new Matrix kind of sucked, but it was like good because nostalgia and yeah. everything. How do you say that um, word? <laughs> nostalgia. <laughs> nostalgia. Get it wrong? Nostalgia. You just you really you landed pr- hard on that IA at the end. Yeah, you pronounce it like a slam poet would. <laughs> nostalgia. <laughs> nostalgia. 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 Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Um, <laughs> nostalgia is weird. It's like you, it's, everybody talks Thank you, bro. about. Appreciate that. It's not good. Like it's not good to have nostalgia. Is well. why. I think it. it no, I think it's, it's good. Just have a healthy amount. Yeah, yeah. I think it's you just know? something about like living in the past. You know, like MAGA is kind of a nostalgia thing. Yeah. If you think about it, like it's it's a it's a concept. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Well, they like pre- an, ex- an excessive amount. Yeah. is when you get creeps. You yeah. know, you get weirdos being like obsessed with Disney and Harry Potter, like yes. people who can't accept things and like, like adult move babies, on adult babies like who that. get mad at Martin Scorsese for uh, like yeah. saying MAGA people are adult babies as well. Dude, you got to feel bad for uh, Harry Potter's brother, Gary Potter. <laughs> Howdy, what I'm, are you talking? What is? What is? What? Howdy, I'm Gary Potter. What, dude? I'm what Gary. Howdy, that? howdy, what howdy the I'm hell Gary. Was that? I'm Gary Potter, and I was raised in Montana. Why would they name two brothers? Why would they Harry just name Gary. one Gary and one Harry? And then one is like a rancher. <laughs> yeah. He's not like, British. Yeah. I don't feel bad why for him. Gary. Assumption? Gary Potter was in Brokeback Mountain. He's like, I love why? you. Why would the assumption just be like? Harry Harry Potter's brother's name must rhyme with Harry. That's what makes him his brother. Gary Potter. <laughs> yeah, I was. Why, why are we feeling bad for him? Hey, too? brother, I'm sorry about how mom and dad got zapped, but I was I was out. I was out with the boys ranching. <laughs> Yeah, so why do we feel bad? Huh? <laughs> Wait, so and this, Look at see Gary, like, so Gary like, could have stopped it. In, no, well, he's out let ranching. Me, <laughs> let me explore this yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I feel like the first implication was that we feel bad for him because his name is simply Gary. No, no, no. It's because he didn't get the book written about him. Yeah, he he's got no claim. People, most people don't even know he exists. Um, and also he's got no powers. He's just, wait, wait, he's just a rancher. Wait, Ryan, I heard yeah. you have to go. I, and we have a special guest uh, <laughs> today. Yeah. Um, so thanks for being Let's here, Ryan. In. Yeah. Um, Gary, Gary Potter. Hey, howdy um, fellas. How's it going? Good. Howdy. Good. <laughs> How are you, man? I'm, I'm hanging in there, man. Doing the best I can. Now, Gary, can I ask you a question? Are you yeah. Harry Potter's younger or older brother? Older brother. I was 18 years old when Voldemort, the, the bad man, yeah. I don't know what they call him in the wizarding community, but <laughs> when that when that guy came and uh, turned my whole life upside down and turned it inside out and flipped so it you up were fully, down. you huh? were fully an adult when Harry Potter yep. was a baby. Yep, yeah. I was, my parents were seven when they had me. And, uh... Were you, you, you said you, <laughs> I've heard that you were out ranching at yep, the time. Yep. I was, uh, I was 17 years old and I had just, uh, moved from London, London yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to, uh, Bozeman, Montana. Okay. And I said, you know, this wizarding thing seems like a bunch of fun, but can you do magic? Absolutely not. I've oh, sworn damn. it off and I don't swear often. Oh, so you can, but you just choose not to. No, I can't. <laughs> so you you swore. You swear you off, just do. not off. I swore it off. Did you and... also swear off being in the NBA as well? NBA. Yeah, as long as we're swearing off things the, that you don't know what the NBA is. No, I've never heard of the NBA. <laughs> you know the National Basketball Association. Never heard of it. The okay. only thing I know is ranching and loving a good man, and oh. or or woman, or they them. Oh. So you're by. I'm, um, uh, what's the one where you like everything? Omni. There's a, there's a couple that you, no, I, that I you, think that, it, I think that, I think that's sapio? part of the bisexual is it sapio sexual? umbrella. The world is a sexual oyster buffet <laughs> and guess what? I'm slurping. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, so oysters are also an aphrodisiac, but I can't imagine there's good oysters in, in Montana. Uh, I don't want to get sidetracked on oyster talk right now. We could, we could go into that for if hours. You want to go into the oyster corner? I'd love to, I love talking oysters. <laughs> I'm, I want to, I want to kind of pull the thread of the, the Harry Potter connection. Um, so, I mean, I have to imagine, yeah, you said... Do you mind if I smoke a cigarette in here? No, not at all. Okay. It's the cat litter room. Um, anything goes in here. Because uh, I, I have to imagine, um, you strike me as a gun owner. You strike me as of a course. big Second Amendment guy. Of course. So you 
you should have been there to stand your ground is what I, I guess I'm saying. You could have been there to stand your ground. And that's, that's sad. Yeah, what's your well, relationship with Voldemort? Do you want to kill him? Brother, I'll tell you this. If you, if you live in the past, you're never going to live in the future. Yeah. Um, that's why on January 6th of last year, <laughs> okay. I decided to take my future into my own hands with some brave uh, fellow ranchers, farmers. Yeah. Uh, my, blue nep- collar, my nephew was your there. Your nephew was there. I met <laughs> yeah. him, and he uh, he was saying the N-word. Uh, Grant's two-year-old nephew. Yeah. Yeah, he what was, would he, you do, Grant? What would you do if you do your own nephew? Started saying slurs. <laughs> I. Uh, what would you do? I don't know. Would you? I guess. Would you a join? <laughs> okay, him? all right. This what? is a multiple choice question. Okay. Would you b say no? Stop that. Mm-hmm. Would you c film him and cancel him? Oh yes. C or it, or I'm, d. I'm going for clout. Or would you d kill him everybody knows i'm a clout chaser so uh i would definitely i would put him on blast put him out on on twitter um grant you are correct and you just won twenty thousand dollars yes i gotta say i'm gonna use that to sponsor my next tweet um i love this banter oh yeah whatever this is i love it (laughs) that's that's nice man thank you um nice what uh (laughs) gary um do you do you because Ryan was saying uh, that we we should feel bad yeah, for exactly. you. You think what, people should feel bad for you? People can feel however they want. Do you have a successful ranch? Uh, uh, yes, yes, and uh, I I don't mean to wax too poetically here, but uh, the feeling of a bull's udder getting pulled and milking that of, thing out of your ass. I don't think bulls have udders. I think that's a yeah, it's cow. Um, <laughs> The ones with the cows long have horns. Udders. They have cows long have horns. Udders, bulls have horns. They have long horns. They have a thing hanging down. Yeah. You pull on that. Okay. You get oh, milk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you, you do with the milk? That. You know, I, I heard the bull's udder is actually the cleanest part of the bull. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. if you brush your teeth with it. Well, regardless of what's coming out of that thing or what it is, the <laughs> feeling of that when it just starts to firm up on you, you know, when you're you're pulling on it to get the milk out. Yeah. That's something special, brother. Can I tweet that? Uh, the dog's penis is the cleanest part of the dog. That's why. That I'm just gonna say, and that's why it's fine. <laughs> just leave it there. Sure, that's I why it's. Fucking... O- that's why it's okay. Yeah, yeah tweet that. <laughs> tweet that. The dog's penis is the cleanest part of the dog, and that's why it's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with what I do there. <laughs> just keep doubling down in the replies. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I own uh Gary, should I tweet that? Do you have a Twitter? Sure. Do you have a Twitter? I don't. I don't believe in social media. That's, that's What do you mean cool. you don't believe it exists or you just don't <laughs> like having it? Both. Um I don't believe it exists, but I also <laughs> believe it... that uh Facebook is responsible for uh the Russians uh hacking into the 2016 election. Oh, so you're kind of like a you're kind of like a libtard. No, I'm but very he was also at the Capitol I'm, riot. I was happy that happened. <laughs> But oh, in general, God. in general, I don't like social media. Okay, it's um, so funny how Ryan's true personality is coming out in many ways. <laughs> but <laughs> just I love the ranch. A successful ranch. <laughs> I love the ranch. I love the bulls. I love the not the Chicago Bulls though. But you no. don't know about the NBA. <laughs> don't know what that would even. I I don't even know where to start there. It's crazy because I would say you're the Michael Jordan of. Being a rancher, but mm-hmm. that would mean nothing to you. I love yeah. uh, the partridges, uh, the family, and the bird. The uh, I love the ducks, and I love the horses. A little Tony Soprano action there. Sometimes uh, you you ride the horses. Sometimes they ride you. <laughs> and you love. And the, you're and you're also Harry Potter's brother. <laughs> you I, love the. Embrace. I am Gary Potter, and I love. I'll you say love the embrace of a man, a woman, or are they them? The warm embrace, or an animal. I'll say this. Uh, you know, a lot of there's a lot of negative uh, publicity about there uh, about getting fucked in the ass by a horse, <laughs> but it can be one of the most enthralling experiences a grown man can have is to be sexed on by a horse. So you like to fuck horses, but you think you're milking the bull. This is <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> you really have like siloed your knowledge of different sex organs of yes. <laughs> equine animals. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if it's got four legs and a some kind of appendage, brother, I'm there. I'm milking it. <laughs> I'm trying to try to milk it with my mouth, <laughs> hands, feet, or ass. You know, the number one tip for uh, milking a bull is to use your mouth. <laughs> That's Well, you got to moisten it up. Uh, are, are you... Um, are you... Uh, did you want to plug anything? Are you, yeah, are you, you want to plug anything? You said you were coming on to... Are you single? <laughs> I am single, but I also believe in uh, monogamous relationships. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anyone is listening... And is uh, intrigued by what I've had to say here. Uh, just know that if if you're mine, you're mine, and if I'm yours, I'm yours. And that's the, all there is to it. I do not believe in polyamory. Uh, I think it is a uh, it is a shame to spread it's an abomination. To, well, it's just a shame to spread one's love so thin. <laughs> yeah, but you are doing that. <laughs> what do you mean? Do with. So you you don't believe in you believe in polyamory with animals, but not no 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 no. Well, no. I don't. He's. I think it sounds like the the experiences with the animals are purely carnal. They're lustful. They're not uh, not a, not even. Uh, they are painful. Not, <laughs> they are painful, and they are not typically pleasant experiences. Despite everything I have said. <laughs> yeah. Um. But how do you have time to run such a successful ranch when you're uh having sex? <laughs> Well, if I'm being completely with honest with you, uh, my ranch has been foreclosed on oh, for a my. number of years now. Um, but your ass is open. The it's federal open government, season. the federal government has come in and tried to take the land from me multiple times. Um, but I have formed uh, what colloquially, co- colloquially, has been called. Colloquial, my let, name me is get, co- let me get let me, <laughs> let me let me take a stab at this. Colloquially. Oh man. That was close. <laughs> that was awful close. Colloquially. Collo- but I have I have formed what has been called uh, uh, a, a militia. Invi- a militia invisibility, of some kind. invisibility colloquially. <laughs> colloquially. Yes. <laughs> We've lost the Harry Potter thread. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to bring I'll it tell you what, brother. Bit. If I put that sort and hat on, it wouldn't know what to think. No. <laughs> it wouldn't know where to put me. That might I'll be the that. one truthful thing that you've said so yeah, far. I mean, not, I, think... I, I, I have no reason to doubt the, mm-hmm. the veracity of your claims. Well, I guess. Gary, thank you so much for coming on, man. <laughs> okay, wrapping yeah. up. I like how you said you weren't going to wax poetic and then uh, really... How do you know Ryan? Can I, can I play your guitar? Yeah. <laughs> and sing a little song? Do you mind if I if I play a guitar and sing a song? I mean, Absolutely. I don't know this character, but I'm guessing you don't know how to play guitar. <laughs> let me let me have a shot at it. Would you mind grabbing that for me? Sure. This song that I'm about to sing is uh it's very personal to me. Um Oh yeah. This is a song about uh what it feels like to be all alone in a, in in the world. And in the in the Great West. Um, all right, you ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing. Wait, wait, you're tuning. Go. You're tuning. Oh, you're, sorry. You're no, done, I was. Not, I'm you're playing. Not done, you're not done tuning right now, though. Okay. All right. Are you got, Are you all ready for me to start playing? Yeah. All righty. Well, you put your left foot in and you shake it all about and. Wait. Sorry. Sorry. Let me start over. Here, why don't you start playing a, a, a little tune, and then you can sing along yeah, okay, to the tune. Yeah, okay, that's good. So why don't you, why don't you give that's the good. tune a, yeah. a little okay. breather? Okay. All right, I'm going to start playing now. Is that okay? Well. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 17, my parents got killed in a freak accident, and... <laughs> when I was 18, I, forget, I got uh, molested by a man on the highway. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's, wait, hold on, hold on. Why, why, why hold do you me that out why so don't I, <laughs> why, don't I, why don't I start over here? here, right, here we go. You're I not think, listening to me. I think the guitar's out of tune. I think that's your problem. <laughs> yeah, Gary, I think Gary, the Gary, guitar's Gary. throwing me off, yeah. Gary, why don't you let... Yeah. The song "Breathe" a little bit okay. and get a good little rhythm okay. going. You tell and me when. You, you tell me when you think I should start singing. Okay. 
You know, I think you should try to just do like maybe a little G, a uh, little G to C to D back okay. to G. I think that's like a. That's a good idea, and I will take that into consideration. How, okay, how you, here how, we go. How do you like this? Here we go. This is good. All right. I think I, I've mastered the guitar. I think you have too. Well, <laughs> so start, start from the top. Right, Your parents died in a freak accident. Yeah, okay. You got well, I'm going to sing highway. a different song because I don't think that was getting the vibe. Milk in the bowls on the ranch, and they're getting hard. Gonna go fuck a chicken later. Chicken fried country steak dinner and I love shooting guns in my butt. What'd you what'd you guys think of that? <laughs> so you got, you're milking a bowl and then you're <laughs> you're having you're waking up, you're milking a bowl. Well, you're it's, having, a, it's, you're it's having a song fucking chicken. a chicken. It's a song about the simpler then, things in life. <laughs> Simple and joys. Going, and then you're going straight to chicken fried country steak dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yep. And then you're gonna shoot yourself in your ass. So that's like yeah. quite a day. That's uh that's a Tuesday for me. It's cool. Well, man. yeah, well thank you for uh coming on the podcast and sharing that song. Any any uh Anything to plug? Yeah, anything to plug? Any messages for the the, the haters? Um, um, yeah, I can't imagine that I would have any haters. Um, but <clears throat> if I can just say one thing, it's that uh, Sisyphus Brewing, with its <laughs> wonderful selection of craft beers and selection of pinball machines and live comedy and other events, is a wonderful venue to take your whole family to. Um, Strongly consider going there. It's right by the art garden, and (laughs) I don't have the the read right now, but go check it out. Did any listeners write in and say if they like the... Tell them Gary sent you. Tell them Gary Potter sent you. (laughs) (laughs) All right. um, Thanks for coming on the show, Gary. Uh, Thanks, Gary. Yeah, I'm going to... I got a busy day. (laughs) You're going to vamoose. I'm going to van bowl, you know what I'm saying? Okay, on an unrelated note. You're going to Van Gogh. You're going to Van Gogh to Sisyphus Brewing. I don't understand the reference, but I will see you, you cow pokes later. Yeah, happy anniversary on, on the uh, the Capitol riots there. Thank that you. Was, that was cool. This uh, this episode is going to come out on January 6th, actually. So Yeah, if um, you're listening to this in the morning, come to my show. I'm having a comedy show in Brooklyn at this place called the Nook Cafe Bar. Come to that. It's a good lineup. It's the best. If you don't come, I'm going to assume you're um, storming the Capitol. So come to that. A safe assumption, to be certain. If uh, I don't see you on January 6th, I'm going to assume you're at the Capitol. Yeah. Storming. Yeah, that's fair. I'm going to assume um, you're storming Daniels, the Capitol. <laughs> what about that? That's good, man. That's good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um <laughs> This is insane. Uh, if uh, so, we got uh, somebody writing in. Um, if you want to submit or demand your own uh, anonymous apology to We Cool Podcast, go to grantwinklescomedy.com dot com slash We Cool Podcast uh, to submit or demand your own anonymous apology, or to uh, well do something like this. All hail Lord Ryan and the RCU. Hey, what's up? I'm back, guys. I just heard my name. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, up? You're like uh, you're like fucking what's his Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. You only have to say my name once. Uh, his ads are straight up enlightening. It's <laughs> it's been a good time in R slash the R R C U, the best place for all things Ryan Call. I hope that in the new year, Tommy and Grant finally get a little supportive of Big Rye Rye. Hell yeah. Oh, That's man. crazy, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. It's insane that the listeners are just letting Ryan act up. Well, I think they throw, want me to ruin the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they're just—I mean—they're gonna—they're enabling you. 
Yeah. And you're who are these guys? Who do these guys think they are? My therapist? <laughs> <laughs> the way they're enabling me, Jesus. Are we sure Ryan's not writing in? I promise you, I, I mean, am not. I promise. I don't you. think. I don't think you are. I think you got um, real heads out there. It's I. That would be so wild if it was you. <laughs> like, <laughs> be, that, that would be, be like, I would. Yeah, I would. I don't think I would be doing the podcast if it were just that me. would that would be like if if you revealed that down the line it would be if I like, Kaiser it would be straight up concerning yeah <laughs> because this is like this would be too uh, too over the top for me to have written it you know what I mean like yeah. I would try to go more subtle I think if I were writing mm-hmm. it yeah you are a subtle yeah. subtle man <laughs> yeah clearly we all know Ryan. The subtle one call. Yeah, they call me Ryan Gary Potter for call for a reason. <laughs> yes, the most subtle. Man, you know you gotta feel character. bad for Gary Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Do, I missed the interview. Why do? You, why do you gotta feel bad for him? I don't know. He doesn't he want just... people to feel bad. He doesn't want your sympathy, man. No. Oh. Well, he yeah. sounds like a... I think he just wants to fuck your your. Uh, he wants to fuck animals and peas. Is what it sounds like. Well, yeah. He wants to fuck own. animals and peas. A bag of peas and a chicken. <laughs> Well, I guess that would fall under the, he wants to fuck everything, but only in a monogamous relationship. Uh, Yeah, this is, um, uh, maybe we should stop asking people to write in. (laughs) uh, Yeah, don't write in. About about the the RCU. If you want to keep writing in, by all means. If you like like Ryan, you know, just take that to the grave. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, that's what's great Don't about it. Tell, tell, him tell him Ryan sent you. And tell, yeah, go to the grave and tell him Ryan sent what's you. What's great about the anonymity here is no one has to publicly admit that they like me. It's yeah. just, you know, you can just... God. Except, like, in, a weird, in a weird, twisted way, uh, Tommy and I are the only ones who are continually... Uh, Associating with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know... I Dude, mean, we, we got people in R and on. <laughs> Renan. 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 <laughs> that would be a great uh, album name for him. Yeah. Renan. Yeah, R- R- Renan Hirschberg. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um so yeah, uh, I guess uh with the 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 uh, the anonymous submission hotline has been uh, has been taken over by <laughs> RCU heads. It's been commandeered by. Um, yeah. by How RCU about this? Heads. How about here's this is a good compromise. Um, <clears throat> here, somebody with enough uh, Reddit karma actually start the subreddit for <laughs> that us. That would be awesome. That would be I'll really fun. And then that so could great. just be that could be the really cool <clears throat> subreddit. But well, I'll say this. How about this? Um, if you if you want to write in and say something about the RCU or whatever, that's like I love it and I think it's really funny. Uh, but you should also like throw throw an apology in there or something, you know, something we yes, can like kind of kind of try control. to try to work with a little bit. Because again, it is really fucking funny and it makes Grant and Tommy upset, and I like that. <laughs> um, but let's let's throw some some. It some kind of makes me happy it. too. I'm not gonna okay. lie, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm seething. I'm so angry. <laughs> well, it's, Grant gets these like <laughs> earlier in the week, and then it's just like I'll know when he's got one because I'll call him, and he'll just be like, "What do you want?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty funny, man. Yeah, I think it's. I'm, I'm happy that you have, um, you know, as much shit as I give you. I'm happy that you got some Ryan heads out there. Yeah, and I'm ha- and I'm happy that they're out there. But Ryan, thank <laughs> you for controlling the RCU and. Um, directing them to write some apologies. Tell them to stand down. <laughs> I won't tell them to stand down. <laughs> stand, what to, what, stand by. And also, st- I don't Stand think, back and stand by. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I have any real authority over them. That's what's great about See, the no, movement. No, now you're pleading, now you're pleading uh, non-agency. You're yeah. doing the old Joe Rogan. Yeah. Uh, they do what they want, brother. Yeah, it's like, uh, nah, man, control control your people. Control your army. No, it's a legion of free thinkers. <laughs> it's literally, it's got to be two, two men. <laughs> it's got to be two men. <laughs> two severely antisocial men. Yeah. Yeah, like, Dude, you are going to get murdered by somebody in the RCU someday. <laughs> It'd be so funny if I got murdered by someone in the RCU. <laughs> it would be do fun. it. Do it. If you're listening and you're you're like unhinged, just do it, man. <laughs> just do it. Oh, man. Oh, my God. You're playing with right. cosmic fire, brother. <laughs> I don't care. 
It'd get my name out there. It'd get their name out there. It'd be it's great kind for of a win-win. Win. Yeah. It would be great for the podcast. Well, short term, but then what are you guys going to do? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the podcast wait, would not go got, on. If you got mor- murdered? Yeah. Yeah, if I got more, that'd be good. <laughs> if someone blew me up with <laughs> shrapnel, <laughs> what would you do? I mean, it would be fucking epic, bro. Dude, if someone fucking blew me up, <laughs> that would be so funny. If someone somehow tricked me Mortared into eating your apartment, a, well, they or they just tricked me into like eating an explosive. <laughs> that'd be so fucking funny. And I just blew up in some rich person's house while I'm. Pretending to fix their mm-hmm. water softener. <laughs> Rick and mortared. Rick and, yeah. Instead of bricking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tweet right. it. Tweet all it, Tommy. Right. Tweet it. All right. I don't know. Tweet it. <laughs> tweet it. Shit. Shit, man. Well, to all the RCU oh. heads out here, just know that I see you. And This uh, was our worst episode, right? Well, we always right, say we'll that. We'll see, yeah. And then we listen back and we're like, no, there have been worse ones. <laughs> I, I think this is up there in a good way. Yeah. I'm proud of us. Yeah. Every single time we make a even worse episode, I'm like, I can't believe we topped like we topped ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We, we bottomed. We, we topped, bottomed I can't ourselves. believe we topped ourselves off. Yeah, people like a uh, people like an underdog story. So mm-hmm. if we kind of bruise and batter ourselves up a little bit, that's yeah. that's good for the pod. <laughs> ultimately, I don't know. I don't I'm an know, over. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm an over dog because I'm over this shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking over this shit, dog. Um. <laughs> All right. Well, how, was this an hour? Did we do an hour? I there's got to be an hour somewhere in there. Potentially. Man. Um, well, if if this one's forty minutes, you get <laughs> you get a free content every. Just deal with this it. This one's I don't know either what to tell you. this one's either gonna be an hour or yeah, like twelve minutes. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we could go for a little bit longer. Or should we, almost, we, or do, should we do just wanna, do another one? What? Let's try and do another one. Let's try. Let's let's get let's, let's carry this energy it. through. Come on, we're here. All right, let me go to the bathroom again because I've been drinking tea. All right. All right. Start a new recording. You get tea shits? <laughs> <laughs>